Have you ever cared for a patient that was doing these type of jerking motions? This twitching motion is called myoclonus or myoclonic jerks. I've seen this quite a few times in the ICU, so let's talk about it. Myoclonus is a brief, sudden, involuntary jerking or twitching of a muscle or a group of muscles. This twitching can't be controlled or stopped by the person that's experiencing it, and it's not necessarily a disease process in and of itself, rather than it is a sign of something else. You may see this happen just once. You may see it happen repetitively. It may be stimulated by like an external event. There are two main categories of myoclonus. The first is the physiological myoclonus. This is like hiccups or when you like jerk yourself to sleep when you're like just about to fall asleep. This happens in normal healthy people. The other type is pathological myoclonus. These are those shock-like contractions that happen in a group of muscles. It can happen just in one area or it can be a whole body thing. There are quite a few things that can cause this, so let's talk about a couple of them. Myoclonus can be associated with individuals with MS, epilepsy, other neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. Um, it also can be seen in conjunction with people that have big infections, um, especially like anything involving the head or spinal cord, as well as strokes, brain tumors, uh, metabolic issues or disorders. I've also, the main time I see it in the ICU is like our post-cardiac arrest patients that have had hypoxic brain injuries, and this is now a result of their brain not getting enough oxygen. There are so many different types of medications to treat myoclonus. Um, being a nurse, I don't pick which medications I treat patients with, but I will say patients that are having these types of jerks in the ICU post cardiac arrest, we typically use sedation medications as well as anti-seizure medications to help with some of these symptoms. I would be curious to hear what your guys' experiences with myoclonus, especially post cardiac arrest or like anoxic brain injury patients that get this myoclonus because every time I've seen it, it's never been a good sign. Typically it means this patient has extensive damage done to their brain. Typically these patients aren't um, necessarily surviving outside of the ICU. And that's my little tidbits on myoclonus. Let me know if you have any questions.